Hello. Happy Tuesday. Tuesday. I thought it was Wednesday. Did you almost say Wednesday? Yes, but I looked at this and I was like, mm, no, it's uh, Tuesday. It's not Wednesday. It's <laughs> Tuesday. How's everybody doing? Hi, friends. So glad that you are here with us today. And y'all, I can't wait to get started and like I know. really do a deep dive into this and talk about it because if you guys didn't know, there's a new feature. Cricket came out with a new feature last night, Design Space. Surprise! Surprise! Tanner sent us a link at like, I don't know what time it was. It was very late. I was actually in Design Space last night when he sent it. I never craft at home. I know. And I was making a bunch of little paper candy Grinches and I was like, mm, I'm going to get in Design Space and see what this is about. So, I mean... I think it's pretty cool. We can share our opinions when we get into it. We will for sure share our opinions. Um, but I did see a comment before we got started that somebody hadn't ever made stickers before. So Ooh. this is a perfect loft to be at. Number one, we're going to talk about the make sticker function. Is that what it's called? It's called create sticker. Create sticker function yeah. that is new to Design Space. And once we get over there, like we'll talk about... Um, what version you have to be in and all of that stuff like you're gonna it's really gonna we're gonna walk you through the process but here's the biggest drawback that i have found do i like the function i do it makes it easy absolutely it, it makes it it makes it a more of a streamlined process i guess mm -hmm. um what i don't like about it is only cricket access users Yes. Have, I can use it. And only desktop users. It's only currently. available currently for desktop users. Mm -hmm. So no iPad, iPhone, if that's all you use, you're not going to have the ability to access this specific function. But lucky for you all, we know how to make stickers without the function. Yes, and I'm going to walk you through how to do kiss cut, die cut, how to do a kiss cut with a die cut edge, which is a lot of people will call like the easy peel stickers. Mm -hmm. So just stick around. We're going to teach you exactly, just like I did when the wavy text function came out. Mm -hmm. Y'all, there are ways around it. Do I think that Cricut makes it um, easier for everyone? Do you hear that? What? It, it, it's saying that your computer's off, but I hear us talking. Sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. I didn't hear it. I didn't hear anything. <laughs> anyway. Um, it is, we're going to, we really are going to walk you through step by step on how to do this exactly mm -hmm. without having to have cricket access. And if you're like, what the heck's a kiss cut? What's a die cut? Like we're going to explain all the verbiage to you all. So you're going to be sticker masters mm -hmm. by the end of this video. You're going to know all the different ways to do it. Yep. And we really, we preach all the time about how you don't need cricket access because you have makers going to learn. And so we're going to tell you exactly what you can do to use this function if you have access and how to use it if you don't have access. So we want you all to have freedom to access both of those options. So yes. um, stickers are not hard. Don't feel intimidated. They're not hard. They are not hard. Now, I do not want you guys to get confused and we'll talk about it later because there are a few steps um, when it comes to like the different types. Like if you want the mm -hmm. easy peel, it's going to be a little bit, there's going to be a little bit more of a process behind it. Right. But it's still very doable. Exactly. And still very easy. Yeah. So please just keep that in mind. Yes. Okay. Um, and speaking of membership, while we're here and while we're talking about it, Let's go ahead and talk about the sale that we have going on. That we It's our Christmas sale, guys. $75 off of our membership brings mm -hmm. it down to the absolute lowest price. Um, plus, you get grandfathered in at that low price, and you get the printed and shipped workbook, the 30 Days to Master Your Cricut. Hold on. Um, printed and shipped to you. Now, you all, I'm going to be real honest with you guys. You all sold us out. So we are currently yes. waiting. Our printers are reprinting these again. We we ordered a lot the last time, and we I wonder if you were going to tell them how many we ordered. We there ordered a lot. A lot the we last can't. Time. We couldn't believe that we ran out. Yeah, we were like, like when wait. Sadie texted me, she was like, "We're out of books." I'm like, "There's no way. We ordered so many." Yeah, but we are. Yeah, we but sure so, are. <laughs> but you, if you get, if you jump in on this deal right now. 
and get the $75 off, you get instant access to this. Yeah. And you are going to get a printed and shipped to you workbook. It just may be a couple weeks because our printers are a little behind. Yeah, and these so. books are just so handy to have. Um, this is like your little go-to guide, especially if you're a newbie. I feel like a lot of our new members are also new to cricketing. Yes. Um, or they've been around a cricket, but they've not really got to fully experience how much your cricket can offer to you. And this book is just really where it's at for all of that information. So, mm -hmm. um, but we do want to remind you guys, or just tell you if this is your first time hearing it, we are going to do, and we've done this for the past few years, a beginner boot camp. Yes. Right the day after Christmas, we are back in the studio and we are going to be with all of you all who are getting crickets this year, or maybe you have a cricket and you just need to refresh your foundational, like basic learning things about the cricket. I feel like this is a good boot camp for people even who have experience that Just maybe a refresher it is it's a great refresher and you're sometimes you're like oh i never thought to do it that way um but they are beginner friendly we'll put it in quotes beginner friendly projects so they're really easy to do mm -hmm. and we're going to be doing stuff like uh, master your first cut. Yes. Um, but we're making a really cute Dollar General project. We threw some Dollar General we in there. We threw some DG in so, there. Yeah. So lots of fun stuff. And then we're working our way up to our New Year's Eve event, which is like the most fun event ever. Oh my gosh. It's so much fun. Last year, I had to review last year's and I was like, we had a good time. Lauren wore a bedazzled oh, blazer. Yeah. My my hand stitched fringe blazer. Yeah. It's amazing. So I don't think I'm going to top that one this year. No. I'm wearing a blazer this year, though. Are you? A blue blazer. I have no clue what I'm wearing. There's yet. no bedazzled fringe on it. Sorry to disappoint. No. <laughs> but anyway, so make sure you guys come to boot camp. If you're just now getting here, you can subscribe to our channel and then hit the notification. So whenever we do go live, you're like, oh, okay. Oh. Because our boot camp is live. It's right here on the channel, 1.30 Eastern Standard Time. You don't have to sign up for it. All nope. you have to do is show up. We are going to have giveaways every day. You do have to be, I think we are doing it live to give to do the giveaways. Uh, yeah. Are we doing it? I'll have to double check. We'll figure out and we'll tell you guys tomorrow exactly yeah. how we're doing the giveaways. But we do have a giveaway for every day. Mm -hmm. um, just keep that in mind. And we do tons of giveaways at our New Year's Eve event. Yes, and okay. you, do, uh, you do have to be live at the New Year's Eve event. I do know that. So lots of fun. Um, but yeah, should we like get into it? Because I feel like there's a lot of sticker tips and tricks and hacks, if you will. So yes. let's show them. Let's, let's do, do it. it. Oh, thank you, Miss Rose. <laughs> So, so sweet. sweet. You did not have to do that. But oh, that was so nice. That's right so at Christmas. Nice. I mean, wow. So let's go ahead and talk about this new update. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number one, you do have to be on a desktop. We said that a while ago. Um, so you have to be on a desktop to use this. Um, if you don't have a desktop, we were reading that there is possibility that this will be rolled out later on for iPad and phone users, but right now it is just strictly limited to the desktop um, and it is in beta version. So what is beta version? Let's talk about what beta version is, what that means. Beta version is like the second level of testing. There is alpha version and then there's beta version and then there's live. So alpha is like in-house working on it just at the cricket, like just people that work in cricket have know about it. And then once they feel like it's ready to come semi come to market, then it goes into beta version. Beta version is like, hey, we're putting this out there. We want to know if there are any glitches. Use it. Tell us what you think. Let us fix the bugs. Yes. That is beta version. And then from beta version, it will then jump over to live version, meaning that it is absolutely 100% ready to go. It's there, okay? Mm -hmm. So di if you didn't know, did you know that you can switch back and forth between live and beta version in Cricut Design Space? If you didn't, I'm here to teach you exactly how to do that. So just hold up. We're going to do that. I'm going to teach you how to, yes, desktop and when I say desktop, I'm meaning a computer, laptop or desktop. Yes. That's the same thing. Um, but anyway, I'm going to teach you how to go from live to beta version. If you've never done that before, we are going to, I'm going to teach you how to um, 
update your design space if you think you need to update to a newer version. I'm going to show you where you can go to find that and update. And then we'll just kind of look around in settings, play around a little bit, um, and I'll show you a couple different things. And then we're going to jump into the sticker making. The what? Explain what is it again? The create, create sticker. sticker. I don't That's know. It. I don't. I don't love that. I don't love the name. Create sticker. Yeah. It's I like a, like a noun. They're like using it as a noun. The create sticker function. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not a fan. But you know. I don't work for we Cricut. Don't, we don't get to make that stuff up. So. Yeah, I don't work for Cricut. So anyway. <laughs> anyway, so let's go ahead and jump over to our share screen. And we'll do this later. Here is where we're going to start on our home tab, okay? So to find out whether you are in live or beta version, what you're going to do is you're going to come over here to your settings or your actual, your, like your profile area and then you hit that arrow down and then you're gonna scroll down to here where it says settings, okay? So, we're going to click on settings and here you're gonna see general machines, canvas, all of this different stuff in, stuff in settings, okay? So, to go back and forth between live and beta, you can see here three down, it says application experience. Okay, at application experience, you are going to see, you can see here currently we are in the live version and I'll show you because we're in live version, there is nothing up here that says create sticker. Okay, nothing there. So let's go back to our settings and we are going to click from live to beta. Okay, now it's not gonna do anything when you just click beta. What you have to do is after you click beta, you then have to select done. So now you see it has closed design space out. We are reloading and then I'm going to show you guys where you're going to be able to find this. Yes. Um, does this feature include the Joy Original? Unfortunately, no it does not because the Joy Original does not have print and cut features. Right. So you're not going to be able to use it on a Joy. You're probably going to be able to play around with it, but you you're can. not going to be able to cut because the original Joy does not have um, print and cut features. Okay? And anybody, any of y'all can get in there and play around with Absolutely. this, but you're not going to be able to actually go to the make it screen where you cut it and stuff. Right. So, so now we can go to new project and you can see here, let's just upload a random PNG. There's a good one. Add it to Canvas. So now you can see here we have the create sticker function. Y'all, yes. that's it. So we go from live to beta, and that's where your create sticker function is going to show up. Right here, right smack dab in the middle, okay? And all you have to do is upload a PNG. This is one of our um, new PNGs on our website that I love. Look, clearly it's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. Clearly. <laughs> Mine's on my table. I actually, now I just realized I have two, two water cups. I have Show three them cups. your fancy new water cup. I love oh. it. Isn't it pretty? It's matte to it's gloss. Ma matte to shiny. I love. Well, they I got it with my reward. They so need to make just... vinyl that is matte to gloss. <gasps> they for sure need to make a matte to shiny vinyl. Yes, I think that that should be. If we ever have a vinyl line, yes, add it to the list. Matte to gloss. Absolutely, hundred <laughs> percent. Okay, so anyway, what we're gonna do? I'm gonna size this up a little bit. Um, yeah, it's a little big. It's. I get it. There we go. Fine. So just so we can see it, now the create sticker function, I'm going to click the arrow pointing down and I'm going to move this over so that we can play around with it. Also, did you know that you can move move these boxes? I so love like, that. So like if I click off of it, every time I click back, it's just going to pop up down here away from everything or you can move it over here. It's very I, helpful. It's very, very helpful. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway. We're going to check it out. So once you click that arrow pointing down on the create sticker, 
There are a couple different options for you. So we will start out with the die cut option. So what die cut means is die cut means it cuts all the way through the material to the back, through the backer, okay? So that is cutting all the way through the backer so that you have a sticker that cuts out like this. These are all die cut stickers because they're not on one page, okay? These are all die cut stickers. It's not like a sheet of stickers. Right, it's not a sheet of stickers. Annette, yes, you do have to have Cricut access, but if you'll stick around with me, I'm gonna show you um, how we can do this without even having to do, without even having to have Cricut access, okay? So, die cut, let's click on die cut. What that does is that is going, that shows you once you click die cut, it just, it gives you a sticker, like it's cutting all the way around. Now, this, it does go ahead and fill in the interior shapes. So you can toggle back and forth if you want that interior shape cut, or if you don't. I like that feature, mm -hmm. pretty nice. Yeah, it is. Um, you can also add a border if you want to, so you can do thin, and then you can change your border color, you can do standard wide, and then you have your custom, okay? Y'all, can I just be real honest with you? Do you wanna know what that is? <laughs> That's just your offset feature. It's literally. It's literally just your offset feature. It's like people, uh, in my brain, like at Cricut, people were complaining that they didn't know how to easily make stickers and they were trying to say like, use the offset, use the offset. And they were like, you know what? Forget it. Let's just, Let's just add a button. Right. But it's the same thing. Yes. It's, it's the same It's thing. literally the exact same thing as offset. The only difference is you don't have to go back through and flatten. Yeah, like it, it just skips that flatten it step for you. It skips the flatten step. Mm -hmm. um, and that's it. I think that, they're just trying it. to like help out customer I do. service. <laughs> I think it's I think it's a customer service thing. I think mm -hmm. they're trying to simplify it and I appreciate that. Yeah. I really do appreciate the fact that um it is. Yeah, I mean, it's not as customizable as offset. Megan brought that up. It is still, I mean, you can still, you know, contour or leave. You can do your colors here, type in your codes, whatever, like it's still possible to do all of this. Um, but you know, it's, it's an option. So that's your border fill color. You can add as many or as not. Um, yes, it's like I just said, it's offset without needing to flatten. Um, we wouldn't need to necessarily slice, but yes, the, all it is is offset without having to flatten. Mm -hmm. Here is back to your thin. So if we go back that, and then once we hit apply, there you go. You go to make it. Um, I don't know why. That's a new, that's an This update. is a new feature. Yeah. I'm not really a fan of it right now. I, I don't hate it, but I'm really good about saving my projects. I've like gotten a habit of it. Right. But I think it's really helpful for people when they make something and they go straight to make it and then the something messes up on their machine and they have to close out Cricut. I get this that. This is helping them. Remember like, to save. Mm -hmm. I yeah. get that. Yeah. I get that. Um, so, and I mean, that's it. That's it for, for die cut. Now, one thing I will say Let's go back here. We're gonna to go to edit sticker. You can actually undo this. You're back to your original PNG. I do love that. I do like that. Mm -hmm. It does make it easy. Um, now let's go to kiss cut. So kiss cut is just cutting through your printable material and then leaving the liner intact. So that's meaning if you want to do a sheet of stickers, let's say you're making a I don't know, a sheet of stickers for your cl a classroom or for your child or whoever, it doesn't matter. Let's just say you want a full sheet of stickers, but you want it to remain on the sheet because you just want to hand them the sheet. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's what a kiss cut is. It just cuts through your first layer of material and not your backer, okay? Carol says, yes, but still Cricut should not make it available to access members. I get where you're coming from, I really do, um, but Access is how Cricut makes their money. So as a company, 
it makes sense for them as a company. As a consumer, it does get a little frustrating. Mm-hmm. I 100% understand. But we can do this without having access. Right. You can do this without having access. We don't need the Create Sticker to necessarily yeah. make Create Stickers. No, <laughs> you do not need the Create Sticker function. We're just showing it to you, talking about it, pros and cons. Mm-hmm. We'll let you make your decision um, after the fact. And like we've said before, the biggest thing about Cricut Access that I don't want to say bothers me, but it's just like, uh, it's kind of like a knife to the gut is the fact that if you create things using Cricut Access, fonts, cut files, features, whatever, if you decide later down the road that, you know, I'm not using my Cricut as much, I don't want Cricut Access anymore, right. you lose access. You literally lose access to all of that stuff that you created using those fonts, files, features. Like no matter how long it took you, it doesn't no matter. No matter how long. It's gone. Once you get rid of Cricut Access, you get rid of those projects. Yep. And that's very much so like Audible. I am obsessed <laughs> with Audible and listening to books, but did you not know that if you no longer want Audible subscription, you lose access to all the books you purchased? What? Yes. No, that's not okay. It's not okay. Just like with Cricut Access, if you have created something, I don't feel like it's okay later on down the road that you don't have access to it anymore. So it would make sense to me if they took access away and didn't allow you access to the free images they offered. But if you purchase an image on Cricut Access, you should have 100% access to that file 100% of the time. You should. Absolutely. Absolutely, you should. Yeah. So the good part about it, though, and yeah, I am going to be that person and I am going to plug our membership because I'm going to teach you how you can do this without having Cricut access. And did you know that if you use one of our files and you decide two years down the road, because I think you're going to stay with us for a while because you're, we, we're continually making new things, creating new things, giving you new stuff. Those files, once you download them, they're yours. We don't take them back. We don't say you can't use that anymore. That's mm-hmm. not us. That's not our motto. That's not how we work here. Now you may lose co- commercial license. You are going to use co- lose commercial license if you are not a member. But right. as long as you say a member, you have commercial license to sell mm-hmm. your projects. But it's one of those things like you still have personal use. You can still use it if you yeah. really need to for your all own crafty needs. So anyway. Yes, it is. It is kind of shady. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, but but Period. that's that's the thing is here at Maker's gonna learn. We don't like it, so we're not gonna be that. Right. We're gonna be the complete opposite. Once you download it, there you go. Mm-hmm. It's y'all's. So anyway, we're gonna go back. Let's talk about the kiss cut. So like I said, the kiss cut cuts through the material on the top leaving the backer. So if you select Kiss Cut, same thing. It's going to pop up just like this. You can toggle on or off your interior shape. You want it on, you want it off, whatever. Um, You can add your border. Then standard, we'll leave it at standard and we'll change it to, you know, something different so you can see, okay? So that's our border feel on a standard with a kiss cut. Now, one thing I do like about this, this is probably my favorite feature. If you do have Cricut access and you plan on keeping it, this is probably my favorite feature is having the die cut edge, okay? So you can toggle that on and you can see, and I wanna zoom in, so, oh no. Let's do that again, okay. Kiss cut. We're gonna do a standard border. Let's change the color to something cooler than that. Let's go a little blue with it. Uh, too much blue, let's go back a little I green. have a question here okay. in a second. Okay, so border fill, you can see this. Um, I wanna to toggle this interior shape out, okay? And then let's say I wanna turn the die cut edge on. So do y'all see where it has two edges? Yes. Okay, so if I hit apply, um, Corinne. Corinne's here. First of all, thanks for joining us. Um, second of all, you are a hundred percent correct. Mm-hmm. As a Cricut user and a Cricut owner, this is not the update that we wanted. 
Is it nice? It's okay. It's okay. It makes it simple. I feel like it does make it simpler, especially for our new Cricut users. Absolutely. But you're right. This is not what we ask for. This is not what we want. Like if there was a list of five things, it's not on my top five. No, it's not. <laughs> or like anybody else's maybe. Maybe but it not, was on your top five. I'm but sorry. But I'm not hating it. No. A hundred percent. Like I'm not. I'm not. They're <laughs> working hard to update things for us. And I see and appreciate that. But I think there's... There's just a lot of other things we could have done. Mm, yeah. You know, you know, whatever. I digress. I digress. <laughs> so anyway, what you see the double edges here. What this is going to do is it's going to kiss cut this. Okay. And then it's going to actually cut through the backer here. So you gives you an easy peel sticker. But y'all, we can do this ourselves. Mm -hmm. We can do it ourselves. Oh, so. let me ask the question before you carry on to show them how to do it yourself. Okay. What would happen if you do like three kiss cut stickers and three die cut stickers on one print then cut sheet? I want to know. It would do the same. It would do. So it would cut all the way through on the three and mm -hmm. then it would not cut all the way through on the other ones? Yes. Really? Yeah, I would think so. Because like... Do you see what I'm saying? Because yeah, well, you just pick your cut settings whenever you go to the cut settings. Well, I think what it's doing is it will work with um, this and then it's Like it's going programmed to know what the cut settings. Yes. But I want to know. I want to know. I get it. I okay. get it. Well, maybe we'll have to play around with it later. Because I want to know. Like, I, I just, you can't normally do more than one type of cut on a mat. Do you know what I'm saying? No, I get it. So I Well, it's just like how I'm fixing to show them. It's like tripling up the cuts to get it all the way through. Right. On the same pressure. Yeah, that's what... So I would think that would be what it would do. That's kind of what I'm thinking too. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Food for thought. Okay. Christine asked a really good question. What's the difference between easy peel sticker and a kiss cut? So a kiss cut is just going to... It's kind of like that... that the fine point blade barely touches the top layer of the sticker paper, but it doesn't cut through that backer. That is a kiss cut. It's like kissing up against the, the, um, the material. The easy peel is going to give you an edge. And I'm going to show you how to do an easy peel sticker too. Um, this is going to give you an edge to like, if I wanted to do give a sticker like this and we'll go overhead this sticker doesn't necessarily, it's not the easiest to peel because I have to get in between that sticker paper and the backer. So what an easy peel sticker does is it cuts another offset that is, is the backer so you can just grab it and peel it. Mm -hmm. Okay? So. That's more of like a sellable sticker feature, like something uh, you'd make when you sell stickers. Yes, yes. So an easy peel sticker is going to be if you sell stickers or you give them um, or you give them to people, that's going to be like an easy, if you do like one-off stickers, that's going to be what you need easy peel stickers for. So let's, let's talk about the difference. Die cut sticker is this, cutting all the way through with the backer still attached, but no edge on it. Okay, this is a die cut sticker. A kiss cut sticker is if we had a full sheet of these and all of these stickers were still on the backer. Okay, and then an easy peel is going to have an edge and we're gonna do kiss cut. I already have the die cut here. This is just your standard die cut sticker. We are gonna do a couple kiss cut and a couple die cut stickers on one page and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that, okay? So, um, Sarah asks, is the max print and cut size change with the new update? So, they actually updated the max print and cut size um, a couple months ago, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. And you can, act, you can go, well, so let's go to our settings and I'll show you if you go to, no, no, load type. Okay, print and cut page size. Ours automatically right now in our settings reverts to A3, which is 11.7 by 16. And you can see here, these are all of this, the sizes that you can print with print and cut feature now. So you can do an 11 by 17. 
um, which is larger than what we did. You can do, which we already had eight and a half by 11 and eight and a half by 14 before, um, but you can do A3 and tabloid now, just so you know. I'm actually, while I'm in here, gonna change this to eight and a half by 11 because that's gonna be our standard sticker paper, mm -hmm. okay? Um, I'm gonna change this because we are using the Joy Extra today and you, it, I didn't plug this bad boy oh, up. Let me get you some cords. Where are the cords? Um, I, probably out here. Oh, sorry. Ruh -ruh. Probably out here in this little drawer. We just randomly decided to use the extra. I know. Cause Wait, I've got a, I've got one here. Let's see if it fits. Nope, it doesn't. Okay. What color is that one you just tried? Uh, black. Yeah, I think it has a special cord because it's not fitting the black or the white. Okay. So what we're gonna do? I'm gonna come back. Let's go back to our share screen real quick. I'm gonna undo this sticker and we are going to build stickers together, okay? And we're going to show you guys how to do this without having the create sticker function. No, April, this does not only work with the Joy Extra machine, we literally, is that the right one? I don't know, plug it in and see what happens. Plug it in, plug, plug it in. in. Oh my gosh, do they still do that? I don't know. Is that for Breeze? <laughs> <gasps> Look, it came on. Oh. Magic. Magic's happening. Okay. Beautiful. Um, yes, we found the cord or one that fits at least. Okay. Um, this does not only work with the Joy Extra machine. We just decided to bring it in here because our Explorer needs calibration so bad and I didn't want to move Alicia's machine. And so it was sitting there and I was like, ha, we're just going to grab the Joy Extra and put it in there. Um, send your print to the 8100 I put that's where I put paper yeah I am showing my age with that one and we don't want to talk about that <laughs> we don't talk about mine and Alicia's age on this channel because we we're the so oldies here we're the oldies <laughs> Sadie's the young Sadie's 10 years younger than us isn't that wild <clears throat> oh my God. we're old <laughs> I was having a baby when Sadie was uh, being gosh. born <laughs> yeah because Asher is almost 10 uh-uh uh-huh Oh my gosh. I didn't Not when Teddy was being born, but yeah, he was just a baby. Saying. Yeah. Anyway. That's funny. Anyway. Okay. So we are going to do a couple kiss cut stickers and then I'm going to show you how to do uh, easy peel stickers. Now, so first thing, um, would kiss cut work on laminated sheet too, like a waterproof paper? So if you're putting your waterproof paper over top of your sticker sheet, uh, it's really going to depend on the material that you use. I know that like Starcraft has their own waterproof sticker paper. There's lots of different brands out They're there. They're kind of thick, so they you're going to need extra thick. cuts. They are thick, so I would probably, I don't know. Like it really, it's, you're going to have to play around with your material, especially with these new settings that Cricut came out with when they came out, when they reintroduced us to their sticker paper, um, their settings changed mm -hmm. and like the setting that I used to use on sticker paper, like I can't use it anymore. So anyway, um, back to our share screen, let's start with our stickers. So I'm going to go ahead, um, and see if we, let's go to our website first of all. Let's go to print and cut and let's just see some of our files and we'll just use some of our, I don't want to do like 10 Stanley's. First of all, I'm obsessed with this Marion Bright. Like, I don't know why this wasn't there before Christmas. I would have used it so many times. Mm -hmm. It's cute. Um, well, because we did giving, Christmas so early. It's giving mid-century modern. It's giving like, I'm obsessed. Yeah, I love it. Uh, but first of all, I love this lucky you. We're gonna download that. We're gonna use that one. I almost used that today. And there's another Ooh. one and it's a it's cherries and they're dice. And it was giving me like that kind of vibe, the same as the lucky you. Right. I love our Valentine's vibe. That one's going on my computer as yes. one of my stickers. That's cute. Um You're I the like, Yee to my haul. I like the Yee to my haul too. <laughs> <laughs> so um cute. Let's see, I want another one that I want to put on my, because y'all, you all know, um, my stick, my computer is bare now. I had to change, I had to get a new um, case. case, and now I have no 
stickers. Except for your I Love Weirdos one. Except for my I Love Weirdos, you are right. I don't want a Merry Christmas one on there, but I mean, the chicken, I'm not a chicken whisperer. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think all of these, are like the Valentine's ones are so cute. I know, I need to make Rubes in Georgia some little Valentine's shirts. Why was this not out sooner? I don't know. I love ah, it. You better believe next Christmas you'll be seeing me making something with these files. Yeah, we love some mid-century modern Christmas. It's so funny that you love mid-century modern, but you like, we were talking about colored lights and twinkle lights. Uh, that's, I know. I, I, if you, you would think if as much as I love mid-century modern, like you would think that I would love the color lights, but it's just, I don't know. I know. I get it. I mean, you can like what you want to be liking, you know? Anyway. These are some really cool print and cut files. I feel like we just keep scrolling and I'm just like, I don't know. We have a lot of really good, like our print and cut game has been stepped up if I'm being really honest with mm -hmm. you guys. I feel like it's like on another level right now. Right. Um, so there's a lot of really cool options. And like those watercolor ones, y'all have been going crazy. Y'all love the, the watercolor cow, ones. Oh my gosh. This Christmas tree. I love it. Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. I'm just not. Nothing like, tickling no, your fancy. No, it's not. It's not that. It's not because they are like I like them. They're super cute. But like I'm very weird. Like I have to love, love a sticker to put it on my laptop. Is that weird of me? No, I feel you. I have to love it. Like I haven't put any. All of mine are. I feel like we could do it like a museum. I know. Most of mine are. Um, the marble the background is super cute and is very useful for yes. like cutting out a shape that you want or even with sublimation. <gasps> yes. That marble background is everything. And y'all can use those. The print and cut files are really good to use also for sublimation. Very much so. Okay, you know what? We're just going to do the Stanley and the Lucky You just because that's just what I'm doing. So I'm going to download or I'm shoot. I didn't. I did not unzip, y'all. What oh, am I doing? Oh, no. Oh, okay. Let's unzip go back. So I'm going to cancel browse. I'm going to go back to my finder here. Lucky you. Pop in there. Come on, Cricket. Oh, I need to cancel this. Okay. Um, complex, just because. Continue. Um, apply and continue, and we want to do the print and cut image. Upload. And we are going to select that, add it to Canvas. Probably going to, oh, I knew it. I said, probably going to come in pretty big. Pretty big. It's a big one. She's a big one. <laughs> okay, I don't want it like super big on my laptop, but I think like that would be a good size. Yeah. And we'll size this one. Oh, <gasps> cardinal sin. Cardinal sin. Oh, you know what? I meant to get on to you about something. What? That um, that print and cut project that you did with the sticky notes, and there was a floral hexagon. That was not that bad. <laughs> Excuse you, that was not bad. <laughs> Tanner was like, and then you're going to shrink it? And I was like, Lauren did not make that project. <laughs> she would never warp a PNG I file. did. I did. It did. But it, it looked bad. good. No, it did not okay. look bad. It didn't, and I said, I said that, but I was like, I cannot believe she even did that. Okay, so <laughs> we're just going to do, we'll do two of each. How's that sound? Perfect. So we'll put these two over here to this side. These are going to be our easy pill stickers. These are gonna be our um, kiss cut stickers, okay? So we'll zoom in. Really and truly, if you just wanted to print them out like this, like these two would be good to go. Mm -hmm. If you just wanted to do a kiss cut and no, um, offset or anything these will be these are good to go okay now I want to show you how to do an offset though so that you know what you're doing because the create sticker function does do an offset it leaves out the flattened portion so we're gonna do a offset on this one together okay so 
If you want an edge on your sticker, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to offset. Now, 0.25 on this small of a design is going to be pretty large. So you can toggle this back and forth using that slide. If I'm gonna be real honest, y'all, I don't much care for the slide. I like typing in my numbers. So a lot of times I'll start with a 0.1 and see how small or how large it is and then either go up or down from there, okay? Um, now what we're gonna do is we're going to select apply. From here, you can see the offset is over here. Now you can go to our color section here and you can play around with your colors just like we did in the create sticker function. So you can make it whatever color you want, okay? I really like that color for some reason with that. Mm -hmm. It's giving. That's cute. I really like it. Um, Lorraine has a good question, um, and this could be a whole video, but yes. um, don't we have a video where you like get a hex code, you teach them how to get hex codes off of PNGs? Mm -hmm. This is like a side note. Mm -hmm. um, but you could totally add a square over that Stanley cup and use change the color of it to the hex code right. of the color of the cup. Lorraine. You can. Can you contour out the words? No. No. You cannot contour a PNG file. No. So a print and cut or a PNG file cannot be contoured. Let me show you a great example. For this cup specifically, if I wanted to contour out this middle and I wanted to have it solid, I go over here and I click it, the contour feature is not there. The reason being is because if you look up here at your operations, it says print, then cut, okay? You cannot contour a print and cut or a PNG image. Now, if you do want to contour that out, I'm actually gonna go in here to advance and I'm gonna write down this hex code because I don't wanna lose it because when I change it from a um, print and cut to an actual cut file, it's going to change your color. So, and I really like that color and I wanna keep it the same. I also got the hex code for the blue tumbler. Oh, did you? Yeah, because I was I just was looking okay. after Lorraine asked. That's fine. Well, I can show them in a little bit. Okay. I want to we want I want to stick on our stay with our um, kiss cut and our easy peel yeah. stickers right now because I think that's the biggest portion that we need to kind of talk about. But yes. we can show you how you can kind of manipulate. Um, so. If you change it, because it says print and cut, it says up here in operations it's print and cut. If you change it to basic, it's going to revert back to the gray. Um, and then with it being selected, you can come down here to contour and we can contour out all of those inside pieces. Y'all, that is the exact same thing as if I were to take this, watch, create sticker. We want a die cut. We want a standard border and we're gonna change it, let's change it to the gray, like the other one. Do you all see this? It's the exact same. Yep. Okay, the only difference is before, you can toggle on and off. Let's go back from standard to thin. So you can toggle on and off that inside thing, which is exactly what we just did with the contour of the offset. That is all it is. It is a contour, this toggle contours that offset, okay? Do you see that? Mm. So we've already done that here without having to use the create sticker function. So if you decide later on before you flatten it, if you decide, nah, you know what? I really want that inside to be cut. I'm just gonna come in here, deselect it, and it's back, okay? Now, we are gonna change this offset color back to the what, back to what I had a while ago, which is here, not that. Beautiful. And from here, what you need to do is select both of these layers. So you can see we have our Stanley Cup and our offset selected. Now to make it a sticker, what we're gonna do is go to flatten. And that's it. It's, that is the same. So easy. That is the exact same as you coming to create sticker, die cut, 
adding a border, toggling that interior shape off, and customizing your color. Love it. The exact same. Okay? And then you apply. The only difference is it's not, we don't have to hit that flatten because it was just the create sticker function. Okay? So I'm just going to go back, undo that, bring it over here. I have another question when you're ready. Okay. What's your other question? These are just questions that are popping into my brain. I don't normally do this, but um, what would happen if we pull an SVG in and try to use this create sticker function? Do we need to flatten it first? Can you just add, can you turn an SVG into a sticker and it'll just automatically do it for you? I'm just curious what would happen. I don't know. So that's an SVG. It just does it for you? It just does it for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. It just does it for you. Oh, okay. I was curious because like, you know, if you use an SVG, you've got to flatten it and then add the offset normally. Yeah, so but. it's this it's the same process. Yeah. As it's just all that create sticker function is all it's doing is creating an offset or or taking out the flatten portion that yes, you have to do. Literally. That's it. That's it. That is literally it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now if I wanted to add so that we're, let's just, these are, we said these were kiss cut, right? These are going to be our kiss cut stickers. Mm -hmm. Now, if we want to add an easy peel, okay? For this specific one, I don't want to add an offset. I like, I like this. I don't want there to be an offset. I just want it to cut around the pink, okay? But if I want it to have a kiss cut, here's what you need to do. And I'm going to do it on this one because it's a lot simpler. And then we're going to do it again on the Stanley so that we get it in our head exactly how to do it because this is a process, a little bit more of a process. So if you are doing other things, if you are not really paying attention and you really want to learn how to do easy peel stickers, I need you to come back to me, close out of your tabs because this is where you're going to want to take notes. You're probably going to have to rewatch this video, so just stick with me. You're going to have questions, and that's going to be amazing, okay? So let me go through the process one time with you, and then we'll answer your questions, okay? So to create an easy peel sticker, but still have a kiss cut, what has to happen is the machine has to just kiss cut this portion here, and then it has to cut through another layer here but you can't change your settings in the middle of a cut. So here is the workaround for doing easy peel stickers. We have our PNG or our sticker that we want selected, okay? We are then going to come to our offset. Now, this is just gonna determine how large of an easy peel you want. If you want it that big, great. We'll just leave it at that so everybody can see it. So we're just going to hit apply, okay? And I'm actually going to turn it from black to white because I do not want it to print. And I'm going to make sure that it is on the basic cut function, okay? Once again, turning it back to white. And I'll actually change our background, our canvas color, so that you all can see this a lot better. Okay, so we have our sticker here and we have our offset in a basic cut. Now, a kiss cut, which is the setting that we're gonna use, has very light pressure. So to cut through the backer, it has to have multiple passes. So what we're gonna do with this offset that is a basic cut function, we are going to duplicate it, not once, but two other times. So now we have three, you can see here, and we're gonna, I'm gonna send it to back. I don't wanna, I wanna zoom in. We're gonna send it all the way to the back. So you can see here, we have one, two, three basic cut functions. And we'll move this one back too. You see them here on our layers panel? Is everybody with me? Yes. We have three basic cut offsets 
to our sticker on this in the center. Now what you need to do, select them all. There are four layers that we have selected, the three basic cuts and our sticker. What we are going to do, we are going to align them center. And now you can't see all three layers, but they are there. After you have done that, remember guys, stick with me. After you have layered your three offset basic cuts, you are going to click attach. And now you will have a kiss cut or an easy peel sticker. That was great. Good job. It's a lot. It is a lot. <laughs> but I want to show you once we go to cut it how much, e like how it looks. And I really think you all are going to be like, oh my gosh. It's gonna click It's so gonna click. hard. It, I promise you it's gonna mm -hmm. click, okay? So let's do it again on our Stanley, except this time I actually want to have an offset. So I wanna do the same offset as I have over here. I want to have that same offset because I just really like that color, okay? So now what we wanna do is we, if you do want to add an offset, okay? I don't want to add a 0.25 offset. I want to add a 0.1 offset. That'll be good. We're going to apply that 0.1 offset, okay? Remember, I want it to be, let's see. We don't want, I don't want to contour this out. I actually want to leave that open. So it's okay that it is a print and cut right now. You're going to change the color. We're changing it to that color that I like. And now you're going to select them both and we're gonna go ahead and flatten them together, okay? So we have our sticker. I could have really, really I could have duplicated this one over on the left-hand side, but we just did it together. So now that it's flattened together, what we're gonna do, we're gonna add another offset, okay? Once again, this is just going to be determined how large or how small you want your easy peel layer to be. We'll go ahead and bump it up to 0.15, and we're going to hit apply, okay? Remember, it needs to be a basic cut, so let's change it to basic cut. Now, one thing that you do need to do before, especially with this one specifically, okay? Let's look at, if you can see over here, actually, let's move this guy. So if I left it like this, it's going to cut out the middle of this cup. We don't want that. So you need to make sure that your offset is just the outside. So I highly suggest once you add your second offset for your easy peel sticker to come down to contour and hide all your contours, okay? This is going to allow it to just be outside your sticker. That is so strange. It is strange, Why and I think it's because I did an offset to an offset. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. So yes, if I did the why. big offset first and then an inset, mm -hmm. it wouldn't have done it, yeah. but it's an offset to an offset. That's so that's why, why it did that. So once again, we're changing it to white because we don't want there to be any color, okay? Um, this is not different, it's just, you. I just wanna make sure, this was a simple one, so it wasn't gonna have anything on the inside that was cut out. This was a more complicated one, so you need to, if you're doing the easy peel stickers, when you are doing your actual easy peel layer, you just need to make sure that that offset or that basic cut is solid on the middle, okay? So once again, this outside is what's gonna be cut away from the backer. So remember, because we're doing a kiss cut, we want, it, we want our sticker paper to stay on the backer. We need more passes. So we're gonna duplicate it and make sure we have three. So one, two, three, and we're gonna select them all. We will send them all to back so that it's behind this. So we have one, two, three, and then we have our sticker. We're gonna select them all, align, center, okay? So we have our three basic cuts in our print and cut, and then we're going to attach. Slay. So we have two <laughs> easy peel stickers, and we have two kiss cut stickers.
Okay. And we're going to cut them on the same sheet. And we're going to cut them on the same sheet. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to go to make it. You can see here, they're on the same sheet. Let's go ahead and put our easy peel down here and let's put our kiss cut up here together, okay? So you all can see which ones are easy peel and which ones are not. Yeah, because these are going to be one. kiss cut, these are going to be easy peel, okay? Now, what I want to do is click continue. We are going to send this. Have we used the Joy Extra? Yes, I used it this? for a sticker video. Okay. We're going to send it to our printer. I am going to add the bleed because I don't want any white showing on this. And I am going to use system dialog. Okay. Then I'm going to select print. It always pops up behind here for me. We are feeding from rear tray, changing it to photo paper and printing it on best. And then print. I'll grab it. And why this is not connecting via Bluetooth, I don't know. Oh, it's not connecting to the mm -mm, extra? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Nope. Is it on the canvas? Oh, is our Bluetooth even turned on on the computer? I don't know. There's no telling. Give me two seconds. Let me make sure our Bluetooth is turned on and make sure that this is joy extra it says it's connected ah there it is it is connected beautiful okay so for those of you that are new to our channel our favorite sticker paper that we absolutely love is the zakoto brand from amazon um we're doing it on matte paper today that's probably my favorite sticker paper that i use i'm not saying i don't like glossy because i do like the glossy there's just a time and place for glossy stickers and matte stickers matte's just my favorite and yes, Janice, you can rewatch, take all the notes that you want. Watch these videos five, six, seven, 20 times over, okay? So, um, yes, Glenda, that is correct. When printing, oh, that. The colors are different, yeah. They look good, but they're not right. And I think it's that printer. I think the color settings need to be played with, because, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's not ugly, but it's not what it's I not wanted. It's not right. Yeah. Anyway, I please excuse our printer. We need to work on it. Whoa. Speaking of printers, uh -huh. um, I took that 9500 home that we broke during a master class. Don't tell me Trey fixed it. Well, so he unclogged it like it was no problem. He was of like, it's fine. Of course he did. And so last night I said I was working on Cricut stuff and he was like trying to fix that printer beside me. Uh -huh. And he was like, send something to the printer. Well, it'll go through, but it won't actually print anything. Like, But the paper will go through. So I think we're like this close to fixing it. Mm. I'm like, how do you just know how to fix stuff? That's going to be awesome. I, I don't understand. Okay. So... We have it loaded on our Joy Extra mat. The material, or the the material that we're going to be using is we're going to use the printable sticker paper white green green, green. liner liner paper. Okay, printable sticker paper white with the green. Guys, there is one that says gray. Do not get confused with gray and green. Okay, green. Green. We want the green. Okay using it on default pressure, loading it into our machine. I ain't gonna lie y'all, I'm a little nervy. Just a tad bit nervy. No, I've, it looks fine. It's gonna I have be fine. not, I've not used this for stickers. No, I haven't, you oh, have. It's okay, you'll be fine. You can do it. Okay, oh, go. Click go. Yeah, because there's no buttons on the extra. There are zero buttons on this machine. I was like, <laughs> where's it at? There's not even an on button. There's no buttons. It's crazy. Becky says, I watched the puffy shirt video 10 times before I made the shirt. It turned out great, though. Do Same. what you got to do, Becky. You do you. Do, you do you. And mm -hmm. sometimes that means watching a video 20 times before you get the confidence to do it. Yep. Because I feel like a lot of us here are the same. 
we don't like to waste. We are waste not, want not, waste not, want not kind of people. So it's like we don't want to do something and it be messed up. I'm yeah. the world's worst for that. I'm like, I'm, if I feel like I'm going to mess it up, I'm just like, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it unless I call it a science experiment and then I'll do it all day long. I do it a bunch. <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious. Yes. That was like, that reminds me of when we did the citrus strip tumblers. Uh huh. We did. Oh my gosh. Every tumbler you could imagine we went through. It's doing it beautifully. Okay. It's working. The kiss cut portion is doing great. Now let's do the easy peel. This Kay. one I would be more nervy about than the other one. But I'm not. Oh, really? I'm not. Okay. It was just the machine cutting where it needed to cut is what I was nervous about. Oh, okay. I got gotcha. you. So it's cut through the first of the easy peel. Now it's doing the second pass of the easy peel on the, and now it's doing the third. Now back to the Stanley for the easy peel portion. Peggy says, every time I make bows, I watch your video. That's oh, all Alicia there. Oh, yes. 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 We what is the, the difference between green and gray backing? So that is Cricut reintroduced their sticker paper to the market um, back around the time that they released the Joy Extra, right? It was when they released the Joy Extra. Yeah. It was like they had it, then they didn't make it anymore, then they decided to do it again. Anyway, it's just their type of sticker paper. There's like different types. The, the OG was the gray lined. Okay. And then the new is the green lined. Okay. Yeah. So the it was thicker. The gray lined was thicker, apparently. It says it's done. Okay. I know it's done. Okay. But it's not unloading. This happened to me. Wait, do you not hit that, that done on the green button on the There's bottom There's not. Right? It said the green button is pause or cancel. <gasps> this did that to me. Remember on my machine and I had to hit cancel for it to unload like it was done cutting, but it didn't say it, didn't it wouldn't inject. let me unload it. Okay. This may be an issue with the beta. This is the this is the reason that me personally, I don't like working in beta. I work. I didn't even realize that I've been working in beta for months. I looked today. I was like, um. Oh, I work. In beta. I personally like working in live. Because there's more bugs in beta. I there like. is more bugs in beta. So right now I'm gonna have to click cancel and pray for the best. Are you sure you want to cancel the cut? <sighs> yeah, I guess. Not sure. Chris. Not sure, but <laughs> sure, I guess. Okay. Sure, not sure. Now. Let's, are we overhead, Sadie? Here is where you are going to be able to see the difference with the kiss cut and the regular, or the, and the easy peel, okay? So, taking this off, you can see that the easy peel, it cut all the way through the backer because we had all those layers, but our kiss cut stays on our sticker paper. And this light grip might, y'all, she's you know, new. She's she fresh. knows she is not light grip. Let's just talk <laughs> about it. Okay. That's why we pick our mats based on how they feel. Okay. Most of the so, time. So let's talk about kiss cut first. So if you wanted to do all kiss cut, this is what it's going to look like. You're going to be able to take all of this off and your stickers are going to stay on your backer, okay? And like you can weed out if you have anything like this middle portion right here should come out. Just weed that out. And this is what a kiss cut sticker is. So this is a kiss cut sticker. Dang, this curling up is about to get on my nerves. <laughs> Let's cut this bottom portion off Just so, so, we can, see it. so we can see the difference. Have you seen where they use the heat press to hover over the HTV to uncurl it? Yes. I love that. I know. I bet you could do that with that. I don't know. Okay. Maybe. Let's let's show them all. Okay? Show them. Die cut stickers cut all the way through the backer, and you can they're not sticky. Here you go. Die cut stickers, kiss cut stickers stay on the backer, and the backer stays intact. And then here we have easy peel stickers. So what this is, oh no, is it has cut through the back of your 
paper. So they're individual stickers, but watch. We have, what we'll do is we'll weed out this outside of the sticker this is why we were saying this is for people to consume your stickers because it's not really saving you any work, but it makes the stickers easier to peel for customers. So this is the Easy Peel stickers. Once again, this is for your customers, not for you. Yeah, I did not go with gravity. You're right, I should have done that. Okay, so this is the difference between our die cut stickers. The backer is not there, like we have to kind of sit and work with it. Easy Peel stickers, this portion is the backer, just right off, okay? So those are your three types of stickers. And yes, this is, this is the, if I, if I had to say one or the other, and I'm using those to, to hold that down for a minute. Um, probably the Easy Peel stickers is the best function of the um, Create Sticker stuff. But like I said, y'all can do it yourself and not have Cricut Access. Mm -hmm. I just taught you how to do that. Once again, I'm just cutting away, or I'm just peeling away the outside. That way we have the backer there and we have an easy peel sticker, y'all. Beautiful. Look at that. So, does anybody have any questions? I don't know, but everybody loves it. Everyone I love loves. the, e I do love the easy peel stickers, especially like Alicia said, these are for like consumables. Like if you're wanting mm -hmm. to sell your stickers, I mean, just adding those three offsets to that to give you a little bit of an extra, it just makes it so much, it looks presentable. It looks more presentable. It looks yeah. more professional. It makes it easier for your customers. It's, it is a game changer. It looks like we bought them. It doesn't look like we cut them with our Cricut, if that right. makes sense. Becky says, Easy Peel just changed the game for me. It is a game changer. It really is. Mm -hmm. And if you didn't, if we weren't, if we didn't teach you how to do that, you would think, oh my gosh, I have to get Cricut access yeah. so that I can do this. But you don't. Right. You don't. I it's love it. It's just so much easier. And Honestly, y'all, we're running that special right now. So if you're like, eh, I don't know, I don't know. We're doing 75 off of yes. our yearly membership. Yes. And not only that, but when you guys become members, like when we do our boot camp, y'all are going to have all these files. Uh -huh. You can go ahead and start making some stickers for Christmas stocking stuffers. I mean, the, the opportunities are endless, honestly. I mean, and if you feel like you learned a lot in today's live, this ain't nothing compared to yeah. everything that we have in our membership with right. our 30 days to master your Cricut workbook, which you get if you decide to join membership today, then you get access, you get immediate access to our 30 days to master your Cricut, but you also get a printed and shipped workbook so that you have it in physical copy in your hand. Yes. I mean, it's, you can't beat it. Penny. You can't beat it. it. You, I mean, you can't. And when I say this is the best sale that we do all year it really is we mm -hmm. run this sale two times a year yes right now and we won't run it again for a, quite a few more months mm -hmm. so if you are thinking maybe you got a cricket for Christmas maybe you think you're getting maybe you are getting one for Christmas or maybe you've asked for one be like Psst, maybe give me an MGL membership along with my cricket yeah. Now's the time. Now's the time. Now is the time. Plus, not only that, let's talk about all of the things you get with membership. So, you know, we talked earlier about how if you decide to leave Cricut Access, you don't have, you can't use their files or anything um, anymore. Let's go to our website. And I just want to show you guys, first of all, you get over how many thousands of cut files do we have now? I think I want to say 15,000 or more. Or 16, I know. It's, I feel like it's 15,000 plus. Yeah. Okay. Um, yes, Cheryl, I'll show you a close up of, it's just a Starbucks cup that I got with my points. <laughs> I went to get one with my points today, but they didn't have any fun colors left. Oh. They had a few, but I was like, Meh. Nothing was like Meh. singing to me, you know? Meh. My heart know. wasn't like loving it. Okay, so you get access, immediate access to like 15,000 plus cut files, and we add new cut files every single month. You get access to thousands of fonts, and once again, we add new fonts every single month, so you are constantly getting new stuff. And that's one thing that me and Alicia are very, um, 
adamant about in the next year is we are going to, I, th I mean, like I'm ready for our files. Our files are great. Let me just go ahead and preface this. I really love our files, but I want our files to go from here to here. Yeah. And that is one of our goals is we are going to go from really good to really great. Yes. You know what I'm saying? For real. So here is just a preview of our website. We're in the cut file section. You can filter and sort based on so many different um categories you can sort by most popular newest alphabetical you can view 30 90 or all of them in a category at a time my favorite part about our membership is our dashboard okay dashboard um here is where you are going to find everything housed you can favorite your cut files and find them here you will find all of your courses our classes because we do member only classes every month a new member only class every month we're actually doing one this thursday in case you all didn't know um, we are doing a member only master class this thursday but you will get access to all of the previous member only master classes um, and all of the old, like some of the boot camp stuff. That's funny that that popped up because this is the jacket that I actually wore today. Oh, and yeah. I haven't worn it in forever. That's hilarious. Um, but you get access to like some of our previous boot camps, summits, soup, like all of this stuff you get access to. All of our member only classes, all of these other classes. I mean, y'all, it's crazy. It's awesome. It's so fun in the membership. There's just like a it lot, is. it's like a playground for crafters. I mean, there's just a lot to see and do and learn. Uh -huh. And it's a little bit more, I don't know what the word would be. We just make more of a connection inside of the membership. Yeah. We do have a Facebook group, which I love our Facebook group. I love seeing everything you guys create. Um, once you become a member, you can go to our Facebook group, click, you can click this and it will take you to our Facebook group to join it. Um, resources, y'all, this is one of the most underutilized portions of our website is our resource library. We have a puff vinyl reference sheet, our card sizes, roadmap, design make sale roadmap, uh, product, here's where you're going to find your Master Your Cricut. You're going to find the resource to download. Now, the videos are going to be in your classes. Um, but look at all of vinyl blades chart, silhouette blades chart, decal sizing. Um, all of these, you're going to get the reference guide. You're going to get access to these immediately, okay? Um, uh, off topic. I'm going to answer your question, Randall, real quick, because I see that you are at Hobby Lobby. I can only find for light colors. Will that work on darker hoodies? No. It not could be the other way around if yes. you found for dark colors yes. and you're getting it for a white hoodie, but not the other way around. Also, that printable, um, the printable iron-on from Hobby Lobby, I'll just be real honest, it's not my favorite. No. If you can get your, if you can order some Caesar Easy Color DTV, I know, like, you have to order it, but it's worth it. I don't know uh, when you need your shirt by. Does either. Michaels not carry it? Oh, they might. Call your call Michaels because they carry Caesar. So okay. it's very possible. Yes. Um, so, and then we'll go back to our dashboard. Um, is class on Thursday only for yearly members or monthly members? It's for all members. Yeah. It's for all members. Also, if you are, one other thing that we always, it's kind of like we... Oh, we, it's kind of like always there, but we don't always talk about it. If you want to join our membership and you're like, I don't know 100% that I want to jump in full force um, to yearly just yet, like I kind of want to get a feel of it. We do offer a what we call our dollar deal, meaning you can join us for a dollar. You get um, unlimited access to our website for seven days. You can do 20 downloads, brings it to 10, five cents, mm -hmm. five cents a download. 20 downloads um, with a dollar so that you can kind of check out our website, see if you like the feel. We know and fully understand that we are not everybody's cup of tea. And you know what? That's okay because this crafting world is so big. We have so many people in it. You may find somebody else that is more your cup of tea, but we put our heart and soul into our website and our membership. 
we truly believe that once you get in there, you're going to love it and not want to leave. So if you want to try us out for a dollar, you can do that. Sadie dropped that if you, and if you do try us out for a dollar now, you can come to our masterclass. Yeah, you can be there on Thursday. You can be there on Thursday. Well, we know it's Christmas, so yeah. you may not have like, you know, the the amount for the grandfathered in or whatever, uh -huh. but a dollar, y'all... Yep. You can swing a dollar? Yep. But just know <laughs> that if you do jump in and try us out for a dollar, if you do not cancel within the seven days, you will then become a monthly member. But monthly members have just as much um, access to everything as our yearly members. The only thing is the yearly members get the discount. And we did a yearly member summit a couple weeks ago, but that's the biggest difference. Okay. Uh, Megan says, y'all are not my cup of tea or my shot of whiskey. You dang straight. She knows You us. dang straight I am. We all are. <laughs> That's my girl. That's my girl. I love so, it. So, anyway, you all, we, we've talked about our website. Enough about us. I just, we, we love our community, and I really think that if you are new to the cricket world and you want to join a very supportive and uplifting and educational and inspirational and a motivational community, MGL is a spot for you. All right, period. So, period. Lauren wa or Cheryl wants to know what your wine is drinking today. It is not flavor of wine. wine. <laughs> it's Celsius. Again, it's raspberry green tea Celsius. I'm just a weirdo, and I don't like drinking it out of a can, so I put crushed ice, and I pour it over crushed ice. And it's Sometimes, melted. though, sometimes it's Ningxia Red. Sometimes it's Ningxia Red. I got a new Sometimes drink water. at Starbucks today. It was really good. I told you I was going to try this salted mm -hmm. caramel. So I normally am a chai tea girly, but I got a chai tea, uh, dirty chai tea, which means it has espresso in it. And I got uh, caramel sauce and salted caramel cold foam. So probably like 500 calories. Oh. Also very expensive. <laughs> <laughs> but I did not sleep good last night. And I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm yep. just going to get one. So it was delicious. Um, but anyway, so if you guys have any questions about anything we went over today regarding membership, regarding um, the project even, you can email us at hi at makersgonnalearn.com and we will answer you promptly. So Kathleen said, I'm bummed that the sticker feature doesn't work on my iPad though. Mm -hmm. Kathleen, go back and rewatch this. You don't have to have the sticker feature. No, you can do it the this, way that we showed All of you. this, what we just showed you today, you can do on your iPad and not have to have the sticker feature. Yep. Yeah. So awesome. That's what we're here for. So we'll be back um, tomorrow, 1.30 Eastern Standard. We are making um, a little cookies for a Santa tray. It's so oh, yeah. cute. We're do doing a distressing paint technique. Y'all know I love to paint, so that's gonna be fun. And we're doing HTV on wood. If you've never learned how to put HTV on wood, very easy and very fun. Mm -hmm. So make sure to tune in for that. And then if you can't be there tomorrow, be at our master class on Thursday. That'll also be at 1.30 Eastern Standard. It's gonna be a good time. A real good time. Yes. Can't wait to see you guys there. Right. Um, as always, like she said, if you have any questions, email us. Um, but we we can't wait. If you're new, we can't wait to see you in the membership. Yeah, so exciting. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, bye, bye guys. <laughs>